Stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. A software and shipping container company kick off the September top stock picks with Brian Bolin and Dave Bartosiak here to talk about their respective companies. Brian, we'll start with you. You have the software company. Yeah, I've got the tech company. Go figure, right? Uh, I talk a lot about tech stocks. And seeing as this is Wednesday, uh, you know, top, top stock picks of the week, I get a little bonus here because my stock reported earnings last night. Oh. And they did just what I love to see, a beat and raise. That tells me there was six months of good news all in one day. The last three months were better than expected when they beat. The next three months are better than expected because they raised guidance. So six months of good news all in one day. Yeah, what so, else do you want? Yeah, right. And a momentum score of A besides. Well, yeah, and a momentum of A. But, you know, those things will be changing. The, the three will very likely uh, bump up to a two at the minimum and one more than likely in the next day or so here with the, or all the earnings estimate changes that will be coming uh, because it was a it was a pretty big beat we can see here on the on the on the chart here we see 41 percent positive earnings surprise mm -hmm. and if we flip over here we can see that earnings estimates have been holding steady and that's why the uh, stock is a zax rank number three hold but we expect those earnings estimates to move higher because the company did guide higher that should help the stock price as well all right and uh we're talking here on September the 6th, like you said, Wednesday. So for people following the calendar, they can just check that off. Check that off, and down the road we'll see a higher stock price for Coupa. All right. C-O-U-P is the ticker. We'll hold you to it. Okay. Dave, you've got the shipping container company, CIA International. CAI. I'm sorry, CAI. Keeping you on your toes. It, it is Wednesday. It is. All day. Yeah. Um, yeah, so so these guys lease out those big giant containers that you see all over the place, yeah. right? shipping from one place to the other. Really high utilization of their current fleet right now. Ninety-seven percent is all leased out. They just bought another hundred and fifty-two million, which is all leased out, and they have orders for another two hundred twenty-seven million dollars worth on the way. So a ton of great stuff going on there. And they're also seeing a rebound in the rail car business, too. So pricing is starting to bottom out. They're turning around. Let's take a look at the price consensus and EPS surprise chart here on Zax.com. And you can see that it troughed, really everything troughed, the price as well as the earnings estimates into the end of last year. And since then, it's been gorgeous. You've got EPS estimates turning the corner, pushing higher, not just for 2017, but also very nice growth into 2016, or I mean, into 2018 rather. A couple of big beats in a row um, and guidance to the upside. So this thing should uh, keep on trucking to the upside, I hope, in the intermediate term. I'm just not used to seeing you sitting there, so it just messed me up a little bit, more than normal. <laughs> <laughs> do either of you guys own either of these outside of your services? I do not. Not outside of the service, but we do have it in Momentum Trader. Okay. Well, thanks for stopping by, as always. And don't forget, you can find out more information on these two companies and many others on our website, zax.com. And all you need to do to find that information is go to the homepage and then start uh, looking at uh, commentary, stock picks, stock picking strategies from there. And with Brian and Dave, I'm Terry Ruffalo.